I'm Alan Robarge, a relationship coach. Welcome to Improve Your Relationships, where I like to talk about attachment injuries and healing attachment trauma. And on this video, let's talk about secure attachment. And when two people in relationship are securely attached, very specifically, one characteristic is that both people are able and value exploring the world and exploring each other's world. And let me reference this. Let's go back to childhood. Let's think about parent-child relating. Let's think about uh, the uh, foundational relationship of where we inherit a attachment style and we learn how to bond and connect is through our relationship with our mother and if it could be the primary caregiver, does not literally need to be the mother. But for a secure attachment uh, style to take hold and to begin developing in the child and in the parent-child relationship is that the child is able to explore the world with a reasonable amount of self-soothing and rely on mom's comfort in the exploration and that if the child moves too far away, if the child distances from mom, if the child gets scared, the child's able to look back at mom or to run back to mom to get a hug and to make sure everything's okay, the world is safe. And so the child is developing a sense of will, asserting will, you know, I want to walk across the room, I want to go in the other room, I'm going to open the refrigerator, you know, I can make choices, I'm going to, you know, go down the stairs and I'm going to get, get the ball and play basketball. So the child is really able to go out into the world, but return to mom as a safe base, as a connection. And mom is going to encourage and support the child having autonomy, being able to go out and explore, but also being available when the child returns. So this helps create a secure attachment and through that bonding, a secure attachment style will develop. It's one aspect of a securely attached relationship. So now let's fast forward to thinking about being in an adult relationship and in our adult life, the same idea applies that when we're in a securely attached relationship and we are operating from a secure attachment style, we are still able to explore the world, uh, which means go do our own thing, which means separate from the partner, but we have a knowing, we have an emotional reliability that our partner is still there for us. And when we need to return to the partner to have a check-in, an emotional check-in, when we need a sense of a safe haven uh, to, to even literally get a hug, you know, have some connection uh, to regroup, you know, to know it's that feeling of my partner has my back. Now, it also means both partners, when there's a secure attachment uh, style happening, is that we are able to do this for our partner. We, we trust our partner can explore the world. We trust our partner can go out into the world. And it's not going to trigger our anxiety or our uncertainty as far as what the partner is or isn't doing. And that we trust the partner is going to come back and that we trust that the partner is going to look forward to uh, uh, using the relationship as a safe haven. And if in fact the partner needs a hug, is able to ask for it and that we show up and we provide it. And in this way, you know, both of these roles are interchangeable where we ourselves need to have the wherewithal, the agency, uh, the, the, the very clear the clear focus of, I need to go out in the world, I need to explore who I am, I need to live my life, and that I'm not going to be preoccupied or held back or confused or feel anxiety uh, when I'm away from my partner. And in fact, we're so connected through a secure base, uh, a sense of secure attachment, um, uh, being securely attached, that we carry that with us when we're out in the world and that that we can rely on that feel that that gives us a sense of comfort 
And so there's actually some studies done around how people are nervous about uh, getting an MRI scan and, and, and the idea of having, they could hold their partner's hand or uh, they could think about their partner. Their partner's not there, but even just thinking about their partner can activate the attachment system to provide them comfort. And in, a, in that example, we could say exploring the world means, you know, you're in the doctor's office by yourself and you're having an MRI. Or the same idea if you're on an airplane and you're feeling a little nervous on takeoff or landing, and you just think of your partner, how you're looking forward to coming home and uh, you know being able to, to talk about your week and, and share some time together. And it's just activating your attachment system that the, the partner is reliable, the partner is available. You, you trust that being apart, that it is okay to explore the world and that when you do need to look over your shoulder, when you do need a text, when you do need to call, when you do need a hug or some comfort, you it's reliable. You can rely on that, that your partner is there and that you encourage your partner to go live life and explore the world and, and your partner encourages you to go live life and explore the world. This is a characteristic of healthy relationship and this is a characteristic of uh, operating from a secure attachment style. I hope that this video is helpful. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like this video and want to see others just like it. Also to learn more about the uh, membership community website that I'm creating, uh, please go to my website which is alanrobars.com and you can learn more about that and also learn more about me. Thank you for watching this and I will see you on the next video.